Hey guys, this is HiCat41 and today I'm going to teach you how to disable a disabled iPod. Say you have so say you have an iPod or an iPhone or an, or an iPad and you've forgotten your password, so you put it in a number of times. Or maybe you have some friends who messed around with it and so tried to put to put in your password and never managed to figure it out. So what would usually happen is that you'll get this sign saying iPod is disabled and try again in one minute and if you try again in that one minute and you still don't manage to do your, to uh, get in the right code the minutes they'll get bigger and bigger so sometimes on YouTube you can you can even see that there are iPods which are locked down for like 40 years so that really sucks so I found a way first of all how to get through past this disabled but still not get through the iPod part, through the no password stage. So, first of all, if you know your password, but it's just some friends who've been messing around or you've been messing around in it, just simply plug in your iPod into iTunes. Wait for your iPod to be recognized by, in, by iTunes. And once there, cancel the syncing process. And there we go. You can try again. Or you can let your friends try again. See, probably another few more tries and it will get disabled again. So, if it's disabled again, this this is what you're going to want to do. You simply just restore your iPod. So, let's go into the iPod. Click. And just click restore. Or oh, look, I found something. Okay, and no, you don't want to back it up because really no point. So click restore. There we go. And so the only con about restoring your iPod is the fact that you lose all your music and all your data, and you do not want to back it up because otherwise it'll just come back with a password. So really this is your only option unless you miraculously remember your password. So all you have to do now is just wait a bit for the iPod to be restored. So I'm just going to wait down there till it's done. So yeah. And sometimes, I don't know if this is, has ever happened to you but it usually happens to me. You'll see that at one point when it's restoring, it will just get to the very end and it will not go to the very end and it just get stuck there. So that really, really sucks. So yeah. And so that's why if you're restoring progress has ever just stopped right there and you cannot get past it i've made a video to show you guys how to get past it so yeah yay me so let's just wait for to restore and then we can continue so this process should really not take too long and cool thing about it is that the moment you're done with it even if it takes maybe like a few minutes whoops oh, wait let me just because I dropped my thing here let's just quickly go back again and just restore it the, the good thing about this is that once you've restored it all you're going to have to do is just change your password or just sync back all of your music because you really won't need anything else, so that's really good. So let's just wait for the whole restoring process to get done. I actually don't know why there was an error, so that's not very normal, but I'm probably going to have to redo my whole iTunes, like reinstall it because I don't know why, but with the Macs, it just doesn't work, and that's 
It's really annoying, actually. So, yeah. Let's hope this time it doesn't create that problem because that would really suck. Yeah, I'm sorry guys if this has taken too long, but trust me, it's worth it at the end. I don't know what's wrong with my iPod camera, but look, this is incredibly strange and weird. Look, the moment I push the iPod, in the camera's view, look what happens. The whole screen just brightens. And when I take it out, it goes back. It's like some sort of reaction. So that's why if you go like that. You see, it's only from the right side. If I go like that. See? Like the moment it gets, it's like triggers some sort of reaction. So like the moment I go there, it's all fine. But the moment I go there, it just goes really light, so. That's really, really, really weird, but I don't mind, as long as it works. So, yeah, it's probably not only now that you figured it out, or maybe even before, that I'm using my iPod Touch 4G to actually record this, because my camera, well, it works and all, but I forgot the cable, so yeah, that was pretty dumb. So, I'm sorry. But hey, look, it's almost done, I think. Unless it's gonna crash on me again, which will really suck. Okay, now we're going to start getting into the interesting part. Now, it just says that my iPod is going to reboot. So, here it's going to start getting interesting, and this is what I'm So, let me just put the iPod down because it's really messing up my the view for you guys. And that's, so I'm just going to put it down like that so you can see what happens. So, let me just twist it, turn it like that. There we go. So, you're just going to do that. Yeah. Just gonna quickly boot up and then you'll see the 
iTunes logo going into the Apple, meaning that you have, it has to be connected to iTunes to be able to restore or something like that. So yeah, there we go. Now it's going to be seen in iTunes, and this is where you want to get things done. So it's access in iTunes. So here. You definitely do not want to restore it, so no, definitely not. You want to set it as a new iPod, okay? It's very important, because then you won't have a password. So you press continue, then put any name you want. So I'm going to put Jinjin. don't know why it sounds funny, but yeah. Jinjin. then automatically sing songs. Yeah, you can do that if you want later, but I don't really need it right now, because I'm just going to show you what you really need so you see just modifying it and here you go look sync and process we don't need that now look at this watch there we go no password you see and then you can change your password you see i didn't modify anything since you saw that i didn't press pause but you see slide to unlock there's no password so there you go guys that's how to do it so thanks if this video helps you please thumbs up it will really help me and subscribe if you want to get the latest news on some videos i'm going to be posting so that'll be really helpful so thanks guys bye